Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Groove Rider GR16 and in particular we are taking a look at creating a new pattern, um, renaming that pattern, duplicating that pattern and getting another sound from somewhere else into that pattern. Okay, so first off you want to create a blank, completely blank pattern. You tap on the name here of the track that's already there and you'll see user. You can go to user and go anywhere you like. We'll go to number two and here's where we do now. We exit and you'll see U2 init, init and it'll be the, the standard four on the floor initial patch that comes with every single uh, blank user slot in Groove Rider. So now we want to name this as uh, something that we're going to be working on. So, okay, we can hold shift and right because we want to go into pattern um, and then we can just choose rename pattern and we'll call this, uh, I don't know, testing. And that will do, we'll just call it testing. So, okay. And you will see that it changes to testing and there'll be a little asterisk by it. Hit right. Every time you see an asterisk by your title of your track, it means that you've made adjustments within um, Groove Rider and it will want to save them. So you just hit right and it will save it. Hit right a lot all the time. It doesn't have auto save. Just hit, keep hitting right. Now, uh, let's make a copy. Now, first of all, let's just add something to that. So we've got this. Okay, and we're on trigger mode anyway. So. So we'll hit record, two, three, four. Done. We want to copy that to a new one now. Okay, so see the little asterisk? Pattern saved. Okay. Hit shift again and right, and then put save to new. And what it will do, pattern saved, okay. What it will do is it will just directly copy it to the next one available, okay? So you use three, we need to rename that as well. Now here is the other way to rename. Hold shift, right again, rename pattern, and call it testing one, and then press okay. But you will see that it will not have changed. If we exit, you will see that it has, and you will see that there is a little asterisk hit right and pattern will be saved as testing one. Now, when we go back into our memory there, we'll have our, our track list, if you like, our selector, pattern selector. You'll have testing and testing one and testing one is selected. We can exit and we have recorded that into there. So we could choose, for instance, a snare. Let's just hit record. And then the asterisk again, so hit right and that pattern will be saved. Now, along the top here are your sounds that you can use. You can choose, I mean, you can put a sound on every single every single one of these, it doesn't matter. But you can choose which sounds to put in. So, you know, without getting into this, I'll get into this further into another one. But to put a sound into a particular sound, and always the important thing is look what you're working on here, part one. Hit wave up here and this will give you a... Selection of sounds and it's the synth engine from Poison, but we'll get into program and all that in another in another video. And then you can go down and there's you can see there's kicks, snares, claps, hats, percussion, toms, brad stabs, vocals, instruments, different like um, you know things like this. Anyway, doesn't matter. <clears throat> let's exit all of that and let's go to and um, see we've made changes. Let's press right. So there should be. Well, there's our roads in there. But let's just do this. Let's go to uh, one of Jim's ones, this one, for instance. Let's say, for instance, you like that sound, okay? <clears throat> 
Okie dokie. So, so we're going to use this. Now here's the thing. You'll see if we're on trigger, you can see what's going on. The sound you choose is important here. So make sure that you're highlighted on the sound that you want to use in your track. Okay, that's important. <laughs> Otherwise you'll copy other sounds, obviously. Um, now what we need to do is hold shift and copy. No, we don't. We need to need to copy. So copy and you will see part and pattern copied. Go to user, go to testing one or whichever it is you're working on and then go to see copies now highlighted. Press copy and then you can either paste the entire part or paste the notes or paste the part sound. Well, I just want to paste that sound. So paste part sound and it's in there. Okay. Brilliant. So we have our piano in there and our oscillator there. So if we exit, little thing there, let's press right. So that's saved. So now we can play in. We're very happy with that. We've found a sound that we like and we've managed to get it into our new track. Now, guys, I'm not going to go any further today because it's you will it will you will get bored and stop watching and, and not learn anything else that's new. Except that now you've got this in, you could go to say keys. You could put a little bit in say. And save. Okay, so hopefully you've learned now how to create out your own pattern, duplicate it, and then rename it so that you know what's going on. <clears throat> so that eventually you've built up a track like this, for instance, where it says Personal Genius 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's how you can name them if you want to. And then as you, as you travel through... <laughs> And that's how you do it. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll put links in the description for Groove Rider. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. And I will see you guys later.